It's a haven from the madness of the city, just 40 minutes away. Here, the ducks have the run of the place as the picturesque town of Strathalban comes to life. In the early morning light, the reflection of Strath's heritage footbridge shimmers in the slow-moving waters of the Angus River, a river which sustained the local Aboriginal people and later the first Scottish pioneers who made their way here back in 1839. The children's footbridge is a centrepiece of the town's popular soldiers' memorial garden, and from here, it's a stone's throw to the cafes and antique shops of Strath's famous High Street. With so much to see, a two to three day stay is a must for those wanting to explore all that Strathalban and its surrounds have to offer. The Strath Motel is one of the latest additions to the region's accommodation scene, offering four star comfort and an ideal base from which to explore the many nearby attractions. In regard to your wine tour, we have just started to operate a wine tour and um, the operators will pick you up here at the uh, motel, visit five or six different wineries as well as uh, have lunch at one of the wineries, so uh, thoroughly recommended. The owners of the Strath Motel hit upon the idea of a wine tour through the nearby Langhorn Creek Wine District. Now thanks to Wine Diva Tours from nearby McLaren Vale, a chauffeur driven cruise in a Mercedes Benz people mover is a reality. First stop, Bremerton Wines a true showcase of what's on offer in one of South Australia's less publicised wine districts. Cellar Door Supervisor Eva Pagida takes us through an amazing wine selection, from bubbles to big reds, in a setting which dates back to a very different past. So it was predominantly here to house animals and feed and implements. From housing workhorses in the 1860s to tantalising the taste buds of tourists today, the old Bremerton barn has seen it all. <laughs> it's a guilt-free indulgence as we sample the range from light peppery reds to a big bold Shiraz and to top it off a mouth-watering platter. For Greg Linton, owner of Wine Diva Tours, it's a tough job but someone's got to do it and he's perfected the role over several years touring the McLaren Vale region. We see as a natural uh, progression um, to, uh, to come to Langhorn Creek. They do some absolutely outstanding wines out here and I think we'd, uh, we're going to really enjoy exposing that side of it to, uh, to the guests. I think it's going to be fantastic. The Langhorn Creek wine region is one of the secret gems of the Florio Peninsula and on this tour you get to taste some exceptional wines at various cellar doors plus some delicious produce made by local producers. It's really a way of getting a unique taste of this exceptional region. Welcome to Bleasdale. Beautiful. And the taste sensations continue at our next stop, Bleasdale, one of the oldest family-owned wineries in Australia. Old Frank Potts established Bleasdale on the banks of the Bremer River in 1850. Today, his great-great-grandson, Robbie, can tell the tale of a winemaking dynasty. The Frank Potts, a lovely Bordeaux blend. Yep, so a good one to start with one of them, I think. Out back in this working winery, Robbie takes us to see one of the icons of the district, the famous Bleasdale Red Gum Press. This is our pride and joy here at Bleasdale. It's, uh, it's the press that was built by my great-grandfather, Frank Potts II, and built in 1890. Hand sawn from local red gum trees, it's a giant piece of winemaking history. And it's very soft and gentle on the juice, so it's an ideal way just that it's very, very slow process. But slow is good on the Langhorn Creek Winery Tour as we call into Lake Breeze with its stunning views of the district. Another winery, another platter, with more Tolinga Grove olives and Adelaide Hills cheeses. And more wine. Yes, we have a lot of guests come to the motel and they said we've done a Barossa Valley wine tour, we've done a Clare Valley wine tour, we've done a McLaren Vale and I thought, well, why can't we do a Langhorn Creek one? Well, now you can. For tour details, visit strathmotel.com.au or head to windevatours.com.au. And for more information on the many attractions throughout the peninsula, visit fluriopeninsula.com.au.